The Devotion for Wednesday, May the 13th. Prayer is my thought for today. I believe this statement is rather accurate on prayer. People often pray more during a crisis. So if that's a true statement, there are lots more praying going on and has been going on in these past eight weeks. Do you ever think about, though, as we talk about prayer and people praying and people praying in a crisis, have you given thought about Jesus praying and interceding for you and for me? As we read the New Testament, we, we read numerous passages of Scripture that remind us of Jesus praying or interceding on our behalf. This is good news and reassuring in these difficult days. Romans 8.34 reads that Christ was raised to a new life, is at the right hand of God, and is also interceding for us. The word intercede means to act on behalf of someone in a difficult situation or in trouble as a petition or pleading. Jesus is acting on our behalf in these troubling days as he is pleading for our safety and our security before the Heavenly Father. Hebrews 7.25 reads that he, being Jesus Christ, always loves to intercede for them. The truth that we find in God's holy word is that Jesus Christ always prays for you and me. Not occasionally, not when the time is right, not when it's convenient, not when you and I come to his mind. The Bible uses the word always. That means he is praying constantly for you and for me. In other words, there's no break in his prayers for us. When you and I are in a difficult situation, he is praying. When you and I, as we find ourselves in these days, living through this virus, he is praying. When you and I sense that life is unraveling, before our eyes with all the shutdowns, all the closures, all the bad news, the increasing COVID-19 related deaths, no sporting attend, uh, events to attend or to watch on TV, churches that are closed or modifying the way that they worship. He is praying. He is praying for you. Not as the sun goes down in the evening when Jesus is not praying for you. Not a sun goes down when Jesus is not praying for you. Not a new sunrise early in the morning comes without Jesus praying for you. My, this is good news. I return to my earlier statement. We are spending more time in prayer during this crisis. People have turned to having more conversations with God in prayer during these days. We have prayed for others. We have prayed for the health care workers in the hot zones of our nation. We have prayed for those workers that are on the front lines all across our communities. We've lifted up the leaders of our state and nation. We're concerned and we pray for the essential workers in our communities as well. I'm grateful for every prayer prayed in this crisis and thankful to God that people are praying. I'm grateful for the prayers that you have prayed on my behalf. I'm grateful for every prayer where my name has been mentioned. I'm grateful and thankful for all those who pray, even for our church in these days. Yet there's such an awesome responsibility to pray for others in these days. And I'm so glad that in these days, I've been reminded that Jesus is constantly praying for us. Good news in these times. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you for the promise that Christ is praying for us and acknowledging that in your word, that he's always praying for us. We lift our hearts, our voices to you in our prayers, thanking you for being our God and all that you are to us in these times. We pray for so many others in these days as well, for safety, for strength and comfort. Pour out, O oh God, your blessings on us now and in the days to come, as we have been reminded again that Jesus is always praying for us. In his name, amen. Have a blessed day.